Diagnostic features of the pedogenetics module. The translation is given on the behalf of Alexa Rokin, the founder of VetaPulse Veta Education and Veta Genetics Projects, an executive director of National Ayurvedic Medical Association of Russia. Veta Genetics module has the greatest diagnostic potential. The approach of Veta Genetics that was developed first were the constitution based sets of genes. Veta genetics experts compelled sets of genes that would provide the traditional medicine doctors with the information on the probability of the development of the property determined disorders in each particular patient. In other words, a modern genetic testing of the certain number of genes allows getting to know if property predispositions are fortified by actual genetic polymorphisms or there are no such risks. The second idea of the project were the common set of genes, a type of universal set of genes that would allow finding vulnerabilities of metabolism or peculiarities of functioning of Agnitharu with no association to constitution, a set that would be suitable for all the clients. Along with the description of the existing vulnerabilities, we provide recommendations on nutrition, lifestyle and herbal therapy that would be helpful in correction of the health condition and prevention of the development of genetically determined disorders. Such an approach created the whole new longevity concept and it was given a name longevity program. Later on other universal programs such as for example psychosomatics program were developed by the experts of Veta Genetics. And the highlight of the brand was the creation of algorithms of Veta Genetics module. The algorithms were developed in a way that they would provide the information of the same nature as the clinical interviewing. After the assessment of the functional disorders with the help of VetaPulse, the program provides a specialist with the statistic data in the form of rating of genes that would be helpful for compelling a final list of genes intended for testing. Before going deeper into the features of the module, let's see the logic of using a constitution-based genetic set on the example of Vata Kabha Prakriti. The first and foremost feature of Vata Kabha constitution is low agni that triggers all the problems. The clients of Vata Kabha constitution would complain on digestive idiosyncrasy of different nature, such as intolerance to certain dietary elements. These problems may manifest in lungs in the form of atopic bronchial asthma or in skin in the form of various skin disorders such as atopic dermatitis or neurodermatitis and eczema which usually exacerbate on the background of poor food habits. But a cup has may also have reproductive disorders due to low shukrit hado agni manifesting as reproductive challenges for both men and women as low modality of salmon and hormonal regulation imbalances accordingly. The genetic testing helps us to identify the state of genes that are essential for this particular constitution and allows making a prognosis for the outcomes of poor functioning of Agni. One of the most popular universal genetic programs is the longevity program. Many health centers and private practice physicians use the longevity program in their work. The program is based on the analysis of 12 genes, providing an insight to various disorders of Agnitharu. In the chart, the genes are highlighted in three different colors, green, yellow and red, showing the gene being out of the risk, at the moderate risk or at the high risk accordingly. Genes that are highlighted in yellow represent an intermediate polymorphism. In case of intermediate polymorphism, the situation may be taken under control with a proper epigenetic correction. Genes that are highlighted in red are supposed to be taken under thorough control to prevent any future or further development of the problem. There was also developed AMA Detox program aimed specifically at women's health. The program consists of three genes allowing to identify the utmost vulnerabilities in a female. 
and I'm a DEDx program developed specifically for men, while in the program for women more attention was given to Medithadu, for men it is more about the cardiovascular system. For many practitioners, we developed the unique sets of genes basing on the specialization of the practitioner. The program may include about five genes which are the most relevant for the specialist. Diagnostic features of beta genetics module. Even without having an actual genetic testing carried out, you may go for the biased statistic methods of the analysis provided by mathematical algorithms of the module. In the program, the genes are divided into two groups, the ones that are in bold and the ones which are not. The genes that are highlighted in bold are the very genes which are associated with the vulnerabilities of the given constitution. There are about 50 genes in the genetic alphabet of the module. In the description window, you can find the description of the functional gene value which is the most important thing as it shows the influence of gene on certain physiological and biochemical processes. There are also indicated the specific disorders proved to be associated with the gene, so it would be possible to make a prognosis of outcomes of having a risk genotype. It is important to pay attention to the gene rating. Pay attention to genes with the rating above 200. According to the mathematical algorithms of the program, only these genes may be carriers of intermediate and risk polymorphisms. Fortify the results by interviewing the client on the family anamnesis. Let's see the real clinical case from the Dr. Sorokin clinical practice. A young woman of 30 years old complained that chronic tonsillitis with frequent exacerbations since childhood, constant problems with the gut with tendency to constipation, alcatis minoria since teenage, low-grade fever condition, inflammatory markers and biochemical analysis of the blood, and finally, the major problem, endometriosis and infertility. The woman also mentioned that she has been on the hormonal therapy for the past three years. Each complaint she mentioned was actually the part of pathogenesis of the major problem she addressed the doctor with. The tool that helped the doctor remarkably in making the decision in this particular case was Vetogenetics module. The results that were obtained with the help of Vetopulse assessment. The balance tab shows Pita Vata Vikriti. In traditional Chinese medicine, Pita Vata Vikriti is associated with the emptiness of yin syndrome. The people of this constitution are predisposed to the empty heat syndrome according to traditional Chinese medicine. The heat is going to be a constant problem for such a person and would manifest in different ways. In this condition, the primary problem is the deficiency of the lubrication function of yin, while heat is the secondary problem. The lubrication function is directly associated with kapha in Ayurveda. There is a well-expressed pattern typical for this state that we would see in the meridians organ pulses module. The pattern is presented by a combination of several specific features. First of all, it is the simultaneous derangement of the 8th and 10th meridians. Those are meridians of kidneys and triple burner. The combination of violation in the functioning of both 8 and 10 meridians is rather heavy for the body. Here we see the depletion of kidneys and tension of the triple burner. Such a pattern indicates directly at the presence of reproductive challenges. Another meridian here which is important to pay attention to is the 12th meridian or liver meridian. Endometriosis is an estrogen-dependent hyperproliferation and its development is inevitably associated with the functioning of liver which is responsible for steroid metabolization. 
In case there is also derangement of Ranjakapita, the situation gets worse, as Ranjakapita is also associated with the functioning of the reproductive system. As you remember, the patient complained on the chronic tonsillitis with frequent exacerbations, frequent colds, sore throat and angina. Such problems are usually reflected in the first meridian, as the meridian is associated with not only respiratory disorders, but also reveals the immune issues. The second meridian shows the presence of constipation. Nidana module shows the abundance of apana vayu, which means that this subtasha is involved in the pathological processes intensively. We understand that apana vayu is involved in the deranged regulation of the reproductive system. Plus, association of apana vayu with tension in the second meridian indicates to a chronic dysbiosis and inflammation in the gut. As it was already mentioned, we have the involvement of Ranjaka Pita, which complicates the overall condition. Another marker here is combination of depleted Vyana Vayu and Tansavalambaka Kapha, which is there due to the dehydration caused by stagnation. It was initially decided to continue the hormonal treatment with the substitution of the synthetic hormones with thiosteroids. But after the analysis carried out with the help of VET genetics module, the doctor changed his mind and developed another plan of treatment that turned out to be the very solution needed in this case. The module showed the involvement of CTLA-4 gene. The gene is associated with the functioning of the immune system. Polymorphisms of CTLA-4 gene form autoimmune tendencies in the system, which may bring autoimmune responses to certain stimuli. The gene is described as the one which may cause gluten enteropathy. It turned out that the patient had latent gluten intolerance since childhood, that triggered the problems with the immune system and the intestines. Among the top genes in the list which were not associated with the constitution of the patient but also played an important role in the pathological state was TP53 gene, MTHFR gene and TNF alpha gene. Risk position of TP53 gene may develop in two different ways. First is cancer. The second is endometriosis. You see that in a state of chronic negative stimulation of the immune system, the body redirected the whole tendency to the reproductive system and turned it into endometriosis, which was the most favorable outcome taking into account the peculiarities of TP53 gene associated with cancer. MTHFR gene, which is also a top gene here, is responsible for anti-age processes and DNA protection. And finally, tumor necrosis factor gene, or TNF-alpha gene. Intermediate and risk polymorphisms of this gene drive up the inflammatory threshold in the body, which increases the risk of getting a severe inflammatory reaction even to slightest stimuli. Due to VETA genetics module, the first and foremost in the treatment plan was diet correction, with a complete avoidance of products containing gluten. And the pathogenetic therapy with thiosteroids was planned for the later stages of the treatment. The steps in between were taking care of chronic inflammation with the therapeutic dosages of Triplamax and the Gestablis R symbiotics, taking care of the inflammatory stagnation, selecting mild bitternesses, tropic to liver, reproductive system, immune and lymphatic systems, with the help of herbal encyclopedia and supplement encyclopedia modules, and also working with the energy points suggested by acupuncture for the imbalances. Theta Genetics is a unique tool improving your competences up to the world standard levels. Working with VETA Genetics provides you with detailed reports with the interpretation of data provided by the genetic testing, 
recommendations on nutrition and herbal therapy given by the experts of the project, information and technical support, a turnkey product ready to be implemented into your practice, a world-level laboratory meeting all the requirements of the modern study standards. To your attention was presented the lecture on the diagnostic features of the VetaGenetics module. The translation was given on the behalf of Alex Sorokin, the founder of VetaPulse Veta Education and VetaGenetics projects, and executive director of the National Ayurvedic Medical Association of Russia. Thank you for your attention. Goodbye.